One more handshake. One more handshake. Now we know how to do it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> accreditation that we are granting is um, a second time reaccreditation of Kenya Pipeline and very special in the fact that they've expanded the number of sites so they become the largest multi-site accreditation accredited laboratory uh, in Eastern Africa. Uh, they have a total of um, uh, seven sites, uh, double sites in Nairobi, Mombasa, and then we have Kisumu, Nakuru, Eldoret, uh, singular sites. 
um, the attainment of ISO 17025 accreditation uh, against the 2017 edition of the standard, as well as uh, its portion of that reaccreditation, places them among uh, 70,000 global recognized laboratories uh, worldwide. Uh, when Pipeline came into accreditation in 2016, uh, they were just about number 20, 20, 21st to the second thousand uh, laboratory, and that was only located within Nairobi. So for us, we feel proud that the scope, which is the breadth in which they're able to supply uh, valid test results, and also the sites to which they're accredited, uh, represents um, the biggest that we have uh, done um, uh, as an accreditor. Uh, we're very, very happy uh, that uh, from 2016, eight years down the line, uh, they still maintain that level uh, of competence required to be able to demonstrate, not only for their own uh, purposes, but also to be able to supply results uh, for other agencies, uh, which is what, we, what accreditation expect, is expected to do. Not only enable you to have that assurance for yourself, but also supply excess capacity uh, to the market. Accreditation entails, uh, we call it the three Cs, evaluating uh, first uh, the capacity, uh, the second one, the competence, and then capability of a laboratory to produce valid results. What do we mean by valid results? Valid results mean that there are sufficient controls and protocols to ensure that if a control sample is supposed to measure to these parts per million, um, the results that subsequently come out of it represents an acceptable uh, range of tolerance uh, to be able to be passed for conformity, whether it's on product quality, on physical aspects of, uh, of the product. So that's in a technical sense how we describe um, uh, the output of accreditation. Uh, the accreditation itself is rigorous. Uh, it begins with us evaluating not only how your procedures are set out, we also witness individuals performing that task. We expect that to be repeated across all the staff uh, within the laboratory setup. Uh, if you look at the magnitude of Kenya Pipeline, we're talking about seven sites. So that means somebody performing a test uh, within the Mombasa laboratory, uh, that result of the same same sample should give a valid result similar to the one done in El to Kisumu. So that's the extent to which we expect uh, the repeatability and reproducibility of the results. And the uncertainty tolerances uh, in the take home sense. Um, there is a continuous uh, surveillance expected uh, that must be undertaken. There's a rigor expected for their own self internal uh, mechanism to self check, uh, either for purpose of the results going out or purpose of establishing capability or capacity. So, any client bringing in a sample uh, should expect that all those processes are in place and there's a system to address that. At the end of the day, we also look at the client point of view. What is expected quality when you're servicing? The internal client, for example, uh, maybe the people who are in charge of uh, safety uh, of, or even uh, the quality of the product going through, uh, they expect a result within a particular turnaround time. The, that capacity should be there that they're able to receive that result. If it's three hours, they receive it in three hours. And it's handled, processed, and delivered. Uh, so it's a holistic standard, ISO 17025. Um, is a global agreed uh, standard. Um, that gives that extent of a rigor. So as a creator, we expect so much to be in place. Um, the number of days we spent assessing uh, Kenya Pipeline um, spreads over in uh, something like 28 Mondays. Mondays. So that means we spend a lot of time doing different evaluations and witnessing across uh, the institution. So I think that's what I can give. And so at the end of the day, uh, what we're going to give uh, is something that we can say we've evaluated the risks and they are aware of the risks they need to manage mm -hmm. uh, and be able to have controls and measures. Uh, if this happens, what do they do? Thank you. We've been testing products outside our depots with SGS. Normally it takes 24 hours. With this accreditation, we'll be able to take only six hours and our oil marketers will be able to test products at their point of their convenience in our depots, Eldoret, Kisumu, Mombasa. We've also commercialized, so it will be a new revenue stream for Kenya Pipeline. And we have customers such as Kenya Bureau who will be able to, 
to bring their products, petroleum products to us, and we'll be happily able to, to test for them. So this is a big day for us. Uh, we really celebrate this day. It's a pride day for Kenya Pipeline, and we cannot be proud than any other day. It basically, as I said earlier, helps us in terms of it's been taking 24 hours to test the samples. Getting samples all day from Mombasa, from Kisumu. Now it will only be taking us six hours. So the turnaround time is a big one for us. Number two, it also provides the flexibility, operational flexibility to our oil marketers. They don't need to turn, this, this service will be available from, you know, from where we have our lab in Mombasa all the way to Kisumu, Eldoret. So that flexibility will also, it's an ease of doing business with our oil marketers. And lastly, again, it's a cost saving for us because uh, we are not doing this in-house as opposed to paying SGS to do it for us. 